The matter I wanted to talk to you about today occurred on February 24th of this year in the Allentown section of the city of Pittsburgh. It involved the death of Adrian Arrington. Pittsburgh police receive a call of a suspicious female on Angstler Street. The house was abandoned and is in bad shape. Three Pittsburgh police officers respond. When the officers arrive, they begin to issue commands to occupants of the home to come out. Ma'am, are you up there at Pittsburgh police? Ma'am, are you upstairs? It's the police. Come on outside. In response to these commands, a female voice says, no, you come in. And shortly thereafter, a shot is fired. No, you come out. You come in. <laughs> Whoa. Officers take a cover position and call for backup. Eventually, 21 more officers appear on scene. As the officers are in cover positions around this particular residence. Six more shots, seven shots total, were fired uh, by the person inside the building. Where's that shot coming That was behind the house. The person who comes out of the house identified again as Adrian Arrington. She still has in her hand a 38 caliber handgun, and the weapon is pointed at the police officers. Adrian is caught on a ring doorbell from across the street. She comes out of the building and continues to fire. The officers return fire, and uh, Adrian is hit five times, once fatally, and, and dies from her wounds. While the officers were processing the Angler Street property, they were approached by an individual. He's the husband of the person who was the deceased. After identifying Adrian as his wife, uh, he explained to the officers that she had frequented that residence a number of different times. It was a former family residence, and that her brother had passed uh, recently in that house, and that on prior occasions, he had found Adrian sleeping there in a tent, and there were toiletries, and also volunteered that Adrian had suffered from some mental health issues and was being medicated for that. The medical examiner's office determined that her blood alcohol was 0.461, which is obviously an extremely high rate of alcohol. Uh, may have contributed to the fact that she did not respond the way uh, that the police expected her to or hoped that she would respond to their commands. In evaluating a police officer's actions, the most important thing is to determine whether or not the officer's actions were taken in response to a legitimate and compelling threat. In this case, there's, there's no question. As to Mrs. Arrington, she came out, she raised her weapon, she had shot previously, and the officers were, their lives were at danger, and certainly their colleagues' lives were at danger, and they acted in justification. The probability that you are going to be in a confrontation with a police officer involving force is minuscule in Allegheny County. When is it possible or when is it appropriate actually to indicate to a police officer you're prepared to use deadly force? Never. Never. Our police are trained to protect our community and they are prepared to respond to deadly force with deadly force. The officer's actions in these particular matters have been uh, extremely uh, scrutinized and that the conclusions that we've reached are uh, understandable.